Um, I'm going to talk about uh, the SSA disability process and where personal health records and electronic health records uh, can benefit in this process. Uh, today, uh, annually, uh, there are about 3 million initial claims filed uh, for disability uh, that generate about 20 million requests for medical records. Uh, initially, the claimant comes to uh, uh, Social Security and provides background information, demographic information, uh, a list of their providers, uh, their medication history, uh, a list of the tests and labs that they have taken, uh, employment history, vocational and educational background. And where we see the personal health record in this domain lines up very nicely in this, in this area, especially with uh, demographics, providing uh, provider lists, um, uh, providing a medication history, and uh, the, a list of tests and labs, not actually the results themselves. Um, from a claimant's perspective, this process is, uh, you know, rather uh, stressful and uh, time-consuming. Uh, you know, if each of us were to sit here today and list out all our providers, their address, their contact information, uh, the dates of encounter, the reasons why you would uh, had uh, seen that uh, uh, physician, I think we'd all be hard-pressed in this domain. So. Uh, we see that the personal health record could benefit tremendously in this area, uh, providing uh, not only uh, more accurate information, but more complete information in, in this uh, area. Along with that, um, if clinical reports are provided in uh, the personal health record, uh, this could help uh, improve uh, the determin uh, determination process earlier and help along in that. Um, one of the areas that David Lansky talked about earlier was that uh, today personal health records come from a variety of sources and you know, many of us have numerous personal health records. Where the agency is challenged is that uh, rather than a claimant providing and delegating access to those personal health records and having to go and touch each and every one, we're looking towards what David portrayed as the networked PHR, uh, this aggregated uh, personal health record in that domain where uh, a, a, a patient could delegate access uh, to SSA and provide information uh, for that uh, initial intake uh, uh, portion of the uh, claim. Uh, the other side is, is if uh, information is taken at that uh, level, this can reduce uh, burden on the particular uh, claimant. Moving on from the intake process, once uh, that is complete, uh, claims are transferred to a uh, state disability determination service. Uh, the state disability determination service uh, does uh, the actual uh, medi uh, medical evidence gathering. They go out and uh, uh, make requests out to the providers, uh, gathering information. Uh, the challenge here is today it's mainly a paper process. Uh, there are a few electronic means for going out and making the request, but they're very, very uh, minimally used, faxes, and we have a web portal. Um, and on the return trip, most of it is paper that comes back today. It is scanned into an electronic folder, as uh, Steve had indicated earlier, uh, but uh, the contextual information uh, is in the context of the image and has to be read. It's not computable or any type of assistive tools could be used to automate that particular process. So again, you know, we request uh, 20 million medical records uh, for release. The other side of this is this is for non-TPO, non-treatment payment operation <coughs> activities. So we require uh, claimants to sign an authorization to release their medical uh, evidence and this is provided to uh, the provider for that uh, medical record. Um, the other area that we see for electronic health records in a benefit area is the automation process that could be yielded in here. As interoperability uh, standards start to uh, yield themselves uh, through some of the, uh, the national uh, efforts, we look at uh, the automation of making requests, 
the automation of providing an authorization through a trusted relationship with uh, these organizations and the response back uh, to SSA uh, in a potentially a structured <coughs> format through uh, health IT standards and also the benefits of having uh, basically codified uh, uh, data such as diagnostic codes, uh, procedure uh, codes, and uh, uh, lab results could benefit uh, the determination process through the ev evaluation of this kind of information and yield uh, quite dramatic time savings uh, to the public uh, for this effort. Uh, today, the biggest, as Steve indicated, the biggest uh, time-consuming effort is actually gathering medical evidence. Uh, it can take weeks, it can take months to gather information. And not all uh, providers respond. They're not, they're not regulated to respond at all. There is no requirement to do this. So sometimes they don't respond, and what happens is, is that uh, Social Security will send claimants to what we call a consultative exam. These are contract physicians that will examine uh, the claimant and uh, generate a medical report, a determination as, uh, that will be used for the determination process. So again, we see that the electronic health record can provide tremendous benefit in, in this area.